Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at provisioning services. So let's first define what is provisioning. So provisioning is the allocation or creation of resources and services to a customer, and its provisioning services are responsible for setting up and managing those AWS services. We have a lot of services that do provisioning. Most of them are just using CloudFormation underneath, which we'll mention here, but let's get to it. The first is Elastic Beanstalk. This is a platform as a service to easily deploy web apps. EB will provision various AWS services like EC2, S3, SNS, CloudWatch, EC2 auto scaling groups, load balancers. Uh, and you can think of it as the Heroku equivalent to AWS. Then you have OpsWorks. This is a configuration management service that also provides managed instances of open source configuration managed software such as Chef and Puppet. So you'll say, I want to have a load balancer or I want to have servers and it will provision those for you uh, indirectly. Then you have CloudFormation itself. This is an infrastructure modeling and provisioning service. It automates the provisioning of AWS services by writing CloudFormation templates in either JSON or YAML. And this is known as IAC or Infrastructure as a Code. You have quick starts. These are pre-made packages that can uh, be launched and configure your AWS compute, network storage, and other services required to deploy a workload on AWS. We do cover this in this course, but quick starts is basically just CloudFormation templates that are authored by the community or um, by um, Amazon Partner Network, okay? Then we have AWS Marketplace. This is a digital catalog for thousands of software listings of independent software vendors that you can use to find, buy, and test and deploy software. So the idea is that um, you know you can go there and provision whatever kind of resource you want. We have AWS Amplify. This is a mobile web app framework that will provision multiple AWS services as your backend. It's specifically for serverless services. I don't know why I didn't write that in there, um, but you know like DynamoDB, um, things like uh, whatever the GraphQL service is called, API Gateway, things like that. Uh, then we have AWS App Runner. This is a fully managed service that makes it easy for developers to quickly deploy containerized web apps and APIs at scale with no prior information experience required. It's basically a platform as a service, but for containers. We have AWS Copilot. This is a command line interface that enables customers to quickly launch and manage containerized applications on AWS. It basically is a, a, a CLI tool that sets up a bunch of scripts to set up pipelines for you. It makes things super easy. We have AWS CodeStar. This provides a unified user interface, enabling you to manage your software development activities in one place, usually launch common types of stacks like LAMP. Then we have uh, CDK. And so this is infrastructure as a code tool, allows you to use your favorite programming language, generates out CloudFormation templates as a means of IAC. So there you go.